I want to see a horror movie with a plot. The first date I ever went on, I took a girl to a movie called, oh shit, what was it called? The Eye, I think, where this Mexican chick sees ghosts because she's from some Mexican bloodline that sees ghosts. The end. What the fuck is that? Are you shitting me? That was the worst fucking movie I have ever seen. Holy fucking shit, dude. I mean, fuck. All I'm asking for is a goddamn plot. I mean... I like weird shit. Don't get me wrong there. I love weird shit more than I love a plot, even. But if you don't got a plot, what's the point of watching the fucking movie? Well, on the way back from the theater, my mom asked me, So what movie did you see? The Eye. Oh, how was that? You know, just make sure you weren't off fucking in a parking lot or something. I don't know. And I'm like, Well, it sucked. Some chick saw ghosts at the end. That was pretty much all I said, I think. Yeah, I think that was all I said. Because that's all that fucking movie consisted of. That was fucking ridiculous. I mean... Shit. Last House on the Left. Not really so much a horror film, but it had a lot of horror elements. But the most important part I'm trying to make a point with here is... It had a fucking plot. It was original. Okay? I just want some original shit. All I fucking... All I'm asking for. I mean, I'm just some guy. I know they're not gonna make a movie just for me. That it's fucking original. But you know what? I might as well make my own fucking movie. Alright? I can't write a script. But I... <laughs> I can fucking imagine... A pretty fucking good movie. Like some scenes to start out with. I mean, my fucking head is a fucking Zalgo meet. <laughs> a fucking Zalgo posting macro. Shit. Like, see, crazy shit. Just thinking, not even trying to think. And, uh,. Shit, man. I was thinking of a movie called The Drifter. Where it's just some some drifter, you know, and he's just walking around. He's got a leather jacket, some jeans, simple clothes, you know. And then he befriends some some people. He sticks around the place for a while. It's a place to stay, you know, for a while. And he hooks up with this chick. And then some dude is, like, harassing her. Alright, like, over email or some shit. And he finds out about it, acts all, like, supportive about it. Like, oh, you don't need to worry about him, blah, 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 cheesy shit. And then fucking later that night, you see from the inside of this guy's house that was harassing her. Just, uh, nah, hold on a sec. Alright, so, where was I? Oh yeah, you're inside this guy's house looking out the window and you see the silhouette of a guy in a leather jacket. And then he just kind of looks away, like, what the fuck? He looks back, and he's like right in the window, face pressed against it, and it's, the window starts to crack. And then, and then it just, like, you hear it crack more, and it breaks, and he just starts walking towards him. And he gets up and reaches for, like, something to defend himself and then the camera just goes outside of the house looking up at the window and you just hear that blood curdling scream that I do that fucking Bravo company banshee scream that I do and then it just goes quiet and then like later on he like just keeps 
walk, walking along the road for a while, and then you see the next day he's back with his girl, and and it's on the news that some guy he got really bl brutally mutilated somehow, and they don't know why, and it doesn't look like marks from like any weapon or anything and and uh it, but it looks like bite marks are on them too but it's not an animal bite marks it looks like human You're like what the fuck there's a cannibal around <laughs> and fucking they like don't even know about it and then it's just like i don't know that's that's all i got right now um but i'll, I'll think about it more and uh you should think of making a script for this horror movie, you do not A man with ghosts in his eyes. The Drifter.